show, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Please. Thank you so much. Thanks, everybody. Please have a seat. Oh, my God. You can, you can tell Friday crowd right away. There's no... There's no... You can't fake that. You can't fake that feeling. <laughs> can't fake it for a minute. Welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. It is uh, always great to work with John Malkovich. I want to thank him for stopping by to cut that commercial for us. He's um, also got an ad uh, during the Super Bowl this weekend, right? He's got an ad in the Super Bowl. Watch all of them until you see it, and then just turn it off. <laughs> you, look, you look forward to the Super Bowl, John? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to you it. You got a Super Bowl party or anything like that? Um, no, I, I, don't. I don't. Yeah, me either. Yeah. Why not? What? You looking forward to it? I thought I was going to go to yours, but you're not having one. So. <laughs> well, it's a great matchup. I'm definitely going to watch the game, though. A great matchup. The Atlanta Falcons versus the New England Patriots. And we... <laughs> it's a divided country right now. We... We all know who President Trump will be rooting for, Russia. <laughs> but also the New England Patriots, because, and this has upset a lot of people, Patriots quarterback and every straight man's gay hall pass, Tom Brady, <laughs> is friends with President Trump. In fact, the two play golf together. I know, that's surprising. You know how hard it is to deflate a golf ball? Nikki! <laughs> Inky! You can't get it. <laughs> and that's not all. Trump is also buddies with Patriots owner Robert Kraft and coach Bill Belichick, which is probably why Kellyanne Conway showed up to Trump's inauguration dressed like the Patriots' old logo. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's uncanny. That's, un that's really uncanny. Now, we have no idea if Trump's team is going to bring home another ring on Sunday, but a poll shows that 53% of Americans are rooting for the Falcons. 53% for the Falcons, which means the Patriots will win the Electoral College. Oh, oh. But folks, oh. folks, that's, hey, that's the Constitution. It's that's the Constitution. That's true. Patriots have that's to win. It's in the Constitution. Yeah. Now, yeah. folks, our Super Bowl Sunday is in danger because, brace yourself. Are you braced? Mm. Mm. I couldn't hear you bracing yourself. Yeah. Brace yourself. America is facing a bacon shortage. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I think bacon has finally given me a heart attack. <laughs> and it's from not having any. We can't have a bacon shortage on Super Bowl weekend. What food will we wrap all the other food in? <laughs> now, this alert comes from something called the Ohio Pork Council. Which is a nonprofit group and not a Cincinnati sex party. <laughs> and well, that's I what I thought. And the Ohio Pork Council says our nation's bacon reserves are now at a 50-year low. That is shocking news. Dang. That is shocking. Not as shocking as the news that we have national bacon reserves. <laughs> right, right. But still pretty shocking. And where is the bacon going? Brace yourselves again. Turns out, a quarter of all of our bacon is eaten by foreigners. Yeah, yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh. I'd like to apologize to Donald Trump for criticizing his wall. <laughs> we should definitely build it out of bacon. <laughs>